Uh, sorry for not posting on time, but I was a bit busy and also tired. Another reason is that I kind of start to read some books. So uh, the first one that I want to show you is called Animal Farm. I think the title says a lot, but I do recommend it. It's pretty cool. And the ending of this book is awesome. I love it. I think represent the society where we are. Um, another book that I just finished it's called Fountainhead. It's written by Ayn Rand. This book is a bit controversial but I think there are two sides. The one that they love it and the other one that they didn't. I kind of love it and I understand it and actually I understand where I'm where I am right now I guess in life <laughs> in my project in my CGI stuff everything so I do recommend it uh, hope you like it also it's a huge book with uh, tiny tiny written so <laughs> but it took my breath away so that's it i just wanted to throw this out there and let's get back to our business and add some skin to our character i'm not going to go through in-depth map creation because i already did that on turtle so just a slight idea let's isolate this body i just went and create from poly paint clone it and export it then went to lower and went to displacement and press create displacement map and also i have created normal map from zbrush create normal map uh, i've export all this map also I have um, put my displacement over here in left and then I went to alpha transfer and created my cavity map which I use it like bump and also like um, uh, texture screen option in Photoshop I put two maps uh, texture below and cavity on top of it and just set it to screen in Photoshop um, I did another map uh, which is more important it was called alpha uh, why because my body and my shoes are together so what I did it was like I separate let's close this perspective I separate this body so let's separate it I can go and select lasso like this and this I've applied white color and then on this one I have applied a black color an object Oops, so dark and I've just created texture and new from polypane. But sometimes I have no idea what ZBrush does is. So I'm going to Ctrl Z, then I'm going to Z plugin. ZBrush for forgets my UV. I have no idea why. So I'm going to back to UV Master. I press Work on Clone, and then just press Copy, going back to my model and it because the UV is there so I'm going to press again new from polypen and here we go we have our alpha uh, I think because I'm selecting like this something happened with my UV and the brush have not anyway so I'm going to press clone and here we go I have an alpha so I'm going to be able to separate my skin body from my shoes one so I guess this is all 
let's go to my folder so these are all my maps as you can see my alpha shoes my cavity my diffuse displacement map i made a flaky map uh this is a pretty easy one so let's drag it this in my photoshop sorry i have screenshot my material because i want to be sure that i'm doing the 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 good one so let's drag again my cav my cavity where are you over here so i just went to level and for flaky i've just dark in it so that's it you can also Control E and let's go to sharpen on sharp and you can unsharp it. Let's save it actually. Ah. And that's it for this. And also glossiness. Glossiness, I went to the brush. Let's apply white. Let's increase subdivision. Okay, now I have applied a dark. We can go slight like this object and then I just went to some white RGB and the parts that I want to have glossiness in material I just white it out so it's pretty easy pretty straightforward I recommend to have a lot of patience more patient than me and then just texture and new from polypen like that you can create a glossy map great now let's go to 3ds max and start uh, dragging maps so i already have a sss color i already put it on the last video if i'm not mistaken now i did already made some tests so i'm going to apply everything i did so let's start i want to increase my scale 1.8 i want the light to go through a bit not too much because i don't want it to be like wax and also i'm going to increase the specular 1.39 and then maybe scatter to be reduced Specular amount, I'm going to put, set it to 0 0.8 and let's increase this also to 0 0.8 to have more reflexivity, specular. Uh, purpose blur, I have right click it, no, left click it, sorry, 0 0.2. I can go even lower and then I press scatter GI. This is was kept to ray trace. You can use prepared based illumination, but it will take a while. Uh, the render. So let's jump and add some map for the bump. I'm going to decrease this to 15 for now. And also let's add Vray normal. Where are you Vray? Normal map. I'm going to press none and let's go to bitmap. So and let's take normal map. I'm going to overwrite it this one. I do not want gamma 2.2. Press open and then I'm going to flip vertical because this map is from the brush. You can do that in Photoshop as well. So for bomb map, I'm going to bring up my cavity. Actually, let's overwrite this one too. And then 
Split vertical. Okay. Now that we have bump, I'm going to bring up my SSS color, which means my diffuse map. So let's bring it again. Flip vertical. I should do that in Photoshop. And I'm going to decrease my blur because I want it to be clear as much as possible. And then let's move this diffuse map to overall color. Let's press an instance and then also let's decrease the power of this. Okay, great. So for flakes, I'm going to add it to my diffuse amount. So pitman and flaky map. Again, flip vertical. And let's set this number to seven. Okay, for specular glossiness, I'm going to bring up my glossy. Again, flip vertical. But also, let's set it to 80% power. And I want to add some bitman composite. Keep. And then let's create a new layer and swap it. Oops. I want to swap. And for the bottom one, I'm going to go to V-Ray color. And I'm going to keep this grayish color. And now we just need to set this first layer to screen. Let's go back. Now let's press scatter color, bitman, and we can select scatter map. Let's flip it, perfect. One thing I want to add more, and I want to go to SS color, and uh, let's add V-Ray Dirt. Let's keep this, and then let's reduce it to four centimeter, and then to a clearer color, because I do not want to have dark area, I want to have reddish, I'm going to bring up my scatter flip it okay so that's it for adding maps so now let's separate uh, my skin body from my shoe so what I'm going to do I'm going to select VA SSS and I'm going to apply VA blend material I'm going to keep this material and then this is a this is set from here so we can set one here and we can dry oops that let's drag it back so let's go and select this material and apply it to my first one just copy and then let's go to none bitmap and alpha shoes Again, flip vertical, we can test it. So as you can see, it will, this material will affect only the shoes. Okay, great. Let's go back and we can, let's make it a bit shiny. Let's set glossiness to 0 0.7. Uh, we can add texture. Open. Flip it vertical. For reflect, we can bring up our flaky let's go for 
32 and then for glossiness we can bring up cavity we can leave it for 50 okay we can call this material shoes One more step before I'm going to render, I'm going to go to my actual mesh and I'm going to apply displacement, so D. I want more information, so I'm going to press luminous, use existing map, and I'm going to map, bitmap, and choose displacement. Also override it, drag it instance flip vertical and then let's apply actually 0 0.8 let's increase the both mode interaction so there, as you can see start to get some skin details how many points do we have Ooh, almost a million so let's go to render set to four and this one let's go to set it to one okay so i think we are ready for our first render so let's go to vfm buffer and press render production i'm going to stop this and get back because I know because of the skin will take a while so see you later okay so the render is done uh, I think it's too shiny right now so what we can do we can go to skin and we can reduce the eye rate to I don't know 35 and then also we can go to Specular glossiness and uh, reduce it to 0 0.7. Uh, you can go and make more tweaks. The thing that I like is this reddish. This is caused by uh, V-ray dirt also in the ear. And contour a bit the shape. So that's it for this uh, video. Hope you enjoy it, subscribe and give it a like if you like it. Uh, next step remains only the cloth. So see you next time. Take care. <laughs>